Hello everybody and welcome to day 8 of my beginner sewing course. I hope you are well and today we're going to be learning about all the different types of stitches and their uses. So let's get into it. So let's start with the straight stitch. Uh, the straight stitch on my sewing machine is number 1 and it's that one right here. And um, if we click on the XX button here, we can see the tension. The tension is automatic since uh, this is a computerized sewing machine. Um, but in my last video, I noticed that like the fabric was puckering a little bit. So I just adjusted the tension to a, a 10 and it fixed the problem. So make sure that like when you do your straight stitch, the tension is right. Because even on computerized machines, sometimes it can just not work depending on the fabric that you use. If you don't have a computerized um, sewing machine though, it's probably just going to be like a, a wheel like this one and you can just adjust, adjust the tension with that wheel. So another thing to look at when you're uh, using the straight stitch is this button right here. And here we have the length of the stitch. So this is pretty average, 2.5 for a straight stitch. Um, you can make it tighter like this or um, less tight like that. That's the max. I'm just gonna put it back to 2.5 because that's, that's good. And as you can see, you have to keep um, the presser foot A. So let's just let's just try it with those little settings right here. So I switched back the settings to their regular um, settings. So the tension and the stitch length are back to how they usually are. So 2.5 and 8. And we're going to see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, there's a little bit of puckering. So that's the tension I was telling you about. Uh, and the, the stitch length is really, really small. So um, I don't love that. I don't love the look of that. Um, I do prefer a longer stitch, um, especially for top stitching. You're usually gonna use a longer stitch for that and it just looks nicer. So yeah, let's switch the settings and see what happens. So I'm going to put the tension at 10 and the stitch length at 3 and we'll see what that looks like. So as you can see the stitch length is a little bigger, it's honestly hardly noticeable. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a little bit of puckering left but I think it's because um, I sewed so straight to this line right here because before it just didn't have any puckering. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And let's try to make it funky with the tension and um, the stitch length now, see what that does. So I think I'm gonna try a really short stitch length. Let's put it at one. And let's try to put the tension up to 14. <laughs> let's just see what happens. And this time I'm gonna sew a little further away from those ones to really see the difference. Oh, okay. This is already strange. It's sewing so slowly. I guess it's because of the stitch length being so small. Oh Lord. I'm scared. I'm <laughs> scared of what it's gonna look like. Moment of truth. Whoa! Ew! It kind of makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't want to touch it. That's really gross. Ew! You know what I mean? Is it just me? Um. Yeah. No, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> don't do that. It looks bad. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to a zigzag stitch. All right. Here we have the screen. So let's go back and. Let's go here. There are many types of zigzag. Um, there's seven, there's nine. Oh, what did I, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoopsie, whoopsie, go back, go back. Mm, okay, yeah, seven, nine, 12. Ooh, 12 looks good. All right, uh, I'm gonna try 12. Okay, press your foot A, that's good. I did not want to switch it out. Um, so let's look, tension is up. Uh, not tension, sorry, stitch length is at one and the tension is at seven. Okay, 
sure, let's try it out like that. These are the original settings. Regular settings. Oh, what? What is that? I never used that one. Well, seen a zigzag do that it's pretty it's really pretty but man like this is too fancy for me oh this looks more normal oh it doesn't look like that it's so weird okay well i don't like that one let's choose another uh zigzag stitch okay let's go back so there is seven seven is the one i usually use especially on knits press her foot a amazing Red touch in 2.6, that's so precise. For what reason? Um, seven. Okay, let's try it. All right. Zigzag stitch, but lightning bolt version. Very, very pottery. So what's cool about this zigzag stitch is that it almost looks like a straight stitch. So that makes it really fun for sewing, especially knits, but it allows stretch. Obviously this fabric isn't stretchy, so it's not going to allow stretch. Um, but let's change the settings on this one. So I don't think I'm going to touch the tension because that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to switch out the stitch length. Well, I can't make it more up. What? That's crazy. That's so rude. They're like, no. What? They're like, no again. Okay, that's what it's going to be then. Let's try it. Oh, Lord. That looks tiny. What does it look like that? Let's not do that. Okay, so this one, well, it's the same one, just with the right tension, is amazing for sewing, I promise. I really recommend it. Um, okay, enough with the zigzag stitches. I think we're going to move on to uh, something else. All right, a very easy one is uh, simply the basting stitch. So you choose your straight stitch. And the only thing that changes is um, your stitch length. So you put it at the highest length, minus five, but some machine is four. I'm gonna put it at five though. So let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, it's going really fast. Oh my Lord, okay. Wow. Ooh, it already wants to gather. Lord, okay, so this is supposed to be bas basting stitch, not a gathering stitch, but yeah, it's trying right now. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, the stitch length is massive, like that's crazy, and it's very useful um, because it's easy to take out. So you can just take your seam ripper and take it out, and it's all going to come off, come off. But like, if you wanted to rip out this seam, it'd be like. <sighs> Bro, I wouldn't even do it. I'd just give up, I think, because that would take forever. So a basting stitch is just really, really useful uh, for just instead of pinning or just like if you know that you're going to want to take it out, um, that's what you use it for. But the tension is all wrong here. <laughs> it's all wrong. So let's try to fix that. So the length is at 3.5. So let's look at the um, tension. going to put it lower. Let's see, let's see if that helps. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going so fast. Ooh, made it worse. Did I make it worse? Mm, I think so. Okay, so I think the tension needs to be higher. Okay, let's do it. Tension. This is the normal. What's the max? Oh, it's probably, uh, 12. Okay, uh, let's try 12. Okay, let's go. Ah, made it worse. <laughs> made it worse. Okay, oh, but if you pull it, it's better. So, yeah, when you sew, it just crunches up or gathers. So, yeah, okay. I mean, this looks fine, right? It's better than the other ones when you pull it, but... Yeah, these ones, even if you pull it, they just stay. Yeah, so I guess a higher tension is better. Well, uh, the more you know, right? Let's do a decorative stitch. That'll be fun. So these are all the stitches that my machine allows. Uh, so we just have to pick the one that we want to do. Um, which one do I want to do? Ooh. I like those little flower ones. They're very cute. Hmm. Oh, God. What's that one? 70? <sighs> you know what? Let's do 70. I'm really intrigued as to what that's going to look like. Okay, let's try it. So, yeah. Let's go here. I guess I go here. Oh, Lord. It's going to take me forever. Oh, actually, no. I'm just lazy. Okay. B. Ugh, got to switch it out. All right, I'm just going to do that real quick. All right, I got the new piece. <laughs> what do you think of my cutting skills? 10 out of 10, am I right? All right, so let's do it from this side. Let's just go for it. Stitch away. Ooh. What the hell? It looks good from both sides. Bro, that's a vibe. I mean, would I ever use it? <laughs> Probably not. But like, it's a whole vibe. Let's try another one. Bro, are you serious? There's a, there's a house. There's a, there's a plane. Okay. They're going crazy. There's birds. Who, who thinks of this? Okay, let's do, let's do the house. Yeah, let's do the house. Number 26, really? That's weird. So I think for number 26, we have to go here. Am I right? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Bruh. Bruh. What is this? Okay, 26, the house. Okay, at least we have to keep uh, presser foot B. Let's try it. Oh my god, it's making it. Oh my god, it's making it. And I like, almost don't want to touch it because I'm scared I'm just going to mess it up. I just want to guide it. Ugh. Ah, what's going on? Oh, okay, I didn't like that. Let's just stop it right here. Ooh, did you, ooh, 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 ooh. Eesh. Is it stuck? It's stuck. Mm, kill me. All right. Well, we learned about this, didn't we? So let's just do it. Oh, I'm just making it tighter. <laughs> Silly me. All right. Just gonna have to take this off. Bruh, come off. Okay. Ooh, I mean, they look cute at first. Can you come out? Okay, so I'm just gonna take this off. Take this off. Oof. Okay, I guess not. Okay. 
Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck deep. Oh, okay. I think we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm just going to cut off this part right here. Okay, and now I should be able to take this off. Yeah, very good. All right, don't be scared if that happens. I mean, be scared, but just fix it. Okay. All right, well, whatever. As you can see, that last house oof, looks like I made it. Okay, this is this is good. Oh, there's a tree. They just went above and beyond. All right, well, who would ever want to do that anyway, right? This is a little much. But oh well. It was fun. It was fun just to try it. All right, let's put this all back now. So now we're gonna move on to an overcast stitch and this is what it looks like. You have to use the presser foot C and let's look at the settings. So it's a 2.5 length. Um, so if you don't have this uh, stitch on your machine, what you could do is just go get a zigzag stitch like this and then at the edge right here you can just sew a straight stitch like this it's kind of like a diy overcast stitch so let's try it out so this is what presser foot c looks like as you can see there's a little metal thingy here and that's what's going to really guide your fabric um, for that uh, finish and it's actually gonna fold your fabric so that it doesn't fray. So let me just show you what I mean by that. With this foot in particular, I find that it's um, good to actually help it do its job. So I'm just gonna place it in here and hopefully that does the trick. Now I'm just gonna put it down. Uh, the beginning of the seam is never like perfect, but that's okay because it gets better as we sew. So let's just give it a try. So as you can see, it's really folding the fabric. And this makes for a really nice finish. Here I messed it up, but that's okay. You can just pull it through like that. So yeah, I mean, it's not <laughs> the most perfect overcast uh, stitch I've ever done uh, because of all the folds here, but this is what, like this part is what it's supposed to really look like. Uh, and that's really gonna ensure that your uh, seam doesn't fray. I've seen a lot of overcast foot that just don't do the, the fold. Um, but mine just does it automatically no matter what you do, so it makes it hard, you know, at the beginning to make it look pretty, but it's okay. Um, it's just an alternative to a serger, right? So it's fine, it does the trick. Now we're going to move on to the under stitch. Um, so to do that, you're going to take two pieces of fabric and lay them together, right sides together. And you're going to sew a line uh, across here. Um, just use half an inch seam allowance. Um, and then I'm going to be able to show you the understitch. So let's do it. So I quickly pinned together uh, my two pieces. And now I'm just going to start sewing. I don't like sewing over my pins. I know a lot of people do that, but I am scared. That's lipstick, by the way. Oopsie. Perfect. And now we can open it up. That's a seam. And we can cut off all the little threads. Now, what we want to do is press our seam open. So whenever you make a new seam, you're going to want to do that. Ooh, 
Look at that, so satisfying. All right, perfect. And now you can see uh, the seam is way more flat than it was before. And what under stitching is, is basically you uh, wanna put all your seam allowance to um, the lining. So let's just say that this is the main fabric and this is the lining. You're gonna take your seam allowance and put it on the side of the lining like that. Okay, we can press it like that. Just make sure it's super straight. Okay. okay. So you can even see it through this fabric. So under stitching is just um, stitching one eighth of an inch away from that seam. So you're gonna be stitching the lining and the seam allowance so that it can't roll over to the main fabric. So let's do it. All right, so now you're gonna use your uh, straight stitch and I'm gonna change the length and put it at three because I want the stitch um, to be nicer looking since it's uh, like we're gonna be able to see it, at least on the lining part. So now you wanna be one eighth of an inch away from that seam. So you can use your wheel to kind of see if you're at the right spot, which I am right now, thankfully. So I'm just going to start sewing like normal. And this is why you need to know how to sew straight, because if you don't, then this is not going to look the best. Try to go very slowly with this. All right. Okay. So, as you can see, we took uh, the same allowance. Not the same allowance is stuck on the lining side like it'll be hard for it to move to uh it'll be hard for it to move to the main fabric so this is good um and here it's like exactly an eighth of an inch away from the seam uh, it doesn't look as good on this side but that's fine because that's not the side that matters this is and the reason why you uh under stitch is because when you're wearing the garment um you're going to be wearing it like this. You don't want the lining to roll over. So if you don't top stitch and press it well, then the lining might just start doing that. And then when you're wearing it, that's going to peer. Like that's going to that's going to come out. And that just doesn't look good. So under stitching is very very important in sewing. All right, so this is the end of day eight. Uh, now you know a little bit more about uh, all the different types of stitches. So now your homework is just to keep practicing and uh, make sure you understand what their uses are and that you're good at just sewing them. And yeah, that's it. So I will see you in day nine. Have a good one.